In this video, I'm going to be sharing seven hidden Divi tips. And also, if you'd like to learn how to design websites using Divi, if you buy Divi using my affiliate link, I will give you access to my Divi Blueprint course absolutely free. All right, so without wasting a lot of time, let's get started. Today's tutorial is made possible by DiviCake.com. Check out the huge selection of Divi themes, layouts, and plugins. The link is in the description below. Okay, so let's get started with feature number one. So what I've done ahead of time is I've loaded up this layout from the layout pack, which can be found in the Divi Builder library. And on the top here, I also have a section which I've preloaded because I have to show you how the chain lock works for the padding. Okay, so if I mouse over this area here, you notice that there's uh, this um, amount, 58 pixels, and you also have this broken chain. So this is a brand new feature, so you need to update Divi to the latest version in order for you to get this. All right, so how this works is if you activate this chain and then you make your adjustments to your padding, you notice here that the padding is happening to the top and also to the bottom. So this is how it works. Okay, so if you disable this, as you can see, if I start adjusting this, this is only happening to the top. And then here we can see the figure hasn't changed. It's still 102 pixels. And also if I make adjustments to this, this only applies to the bottom. So if you want to adjust the padding both to the top and the bottom, make sure you activate this chain. Okay, so let's move on to our second hidden feature. So this one is to do with copying styles. So I'm just going to come over here to the bottom and I'm going to go into the text module. So I'm going to click here into the uh, text settings and I just want to check uh, which heading this is and we can see here that this is assigned to heading 2. So I'm going to come over here to design, click on heading text and then I'm going to click on the second tab for heading 2. So let's say I want to change the font of heading 2. All I have to do is to come over here, select Lato and then for the heading font weight, I'm going to select light. So you can see here that it's light and also I'm going to make it all caps, right? And uh, I'm also going to increase some letter spacing like that and um, maybe reduce the size a little bit. Right, so let's say I need to apply this heading to other parts of my website. All I have to do now is to come over here to the heading text, right click and copy heading text styles. And then I have to save this. And then if I scroll down here and let's say I want to add this style to uh, new arrivals, all I have to do now is to right click and paste heading text styles. So you see now that uh, I've saved a lot of time by not going into this text module and making those manual changes. Now you may be thinking that these uh, styles are only applying to the text modules. No, these also apply to several uh, parts of uh, the DV modules and also sections and rows. All you have to do is after you've made your changes, you just need to right click and copy those styles, which can then be pasted onto any part of the site. Okay, so let's move on to number three. So number three is the dial that you find on the margins and also on the padding. So let's go ahead and check it out. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to go to my module settings, click on design, spacing. So right now, out of the box, we don't really see what is happening. But as soon as we mouse over this area, we notice that um, the, the word top has been replaced by this dial. So if we move this to the right, you can see now that it's applying a top margin. So the same applies here to the padding. If I start uh, dialing this to the right, it increases the uh, increases my padding. And if I go to the left, it also reduces it. So this is a very good feature because it saves you time in making these quick adjustments. And also here, we also have the chain. So if we activate this chain, it also applies the margins to the top and the bottom equally. Okay, so let's move on to the next one. And this time we're going to take a look at click mode. So uh, let's say, in fact, let me close this for now. So let's say you're here and you're not sure how much space you have uh, between this heading and this paragraph. So what you need to do is to activate the click mode. So I'm going to come over here to these three little dots to go into my builder settings. And these are my modes. So I've got the uh, uh, hover mode, which is uh, what we use by default. And then we have click mode. Okay, so I've just activated click mode. I'm going to close this. And then over here, I'm going to make sure click mode is selected. So now when I mouse over this area, I can actually see how much space I have between all these modules. 
So if I want to make any adjustments, I can just go in because now I can visually see how much space and what is taking a lot of space. So if I were to come here and uh, just take a look at these two modules, it's quite difficult for me to tell uh, where this space has been applied. Has it been, has it been applied to the bottom margin or the bottom padding, or is it the top margin of this paragraph? So in order for us to see that, as I mentioned, all you have to do is to enable the click mode, and then when you mouse over here, we can now see clearly what is happening. So now it's easier to go in and uh, make those adjustments by just going into the design, spacing, and we can reduce that space now. Okay, so in our next example, we are going to talk about adding a layout to the page. So if you didn't know, you can actually add a layout to this uh, page that we've just created. So let me sh show you how to do that. So if I come over here and click this plus button, uh, let's say I want to use a layout from uh, maybe the coffee shop layout pack, right? So um, I choose the page. So let's go ahead and uh, select the about page. Right, so let's say there's elements of this about page that we need to use to on our layout. So what we can do here is we can click on use this layout and this layout will be added onto our page. So I'm going to click on use this layout. Okay, so now that layout has been added to the bottom of this layout. So let's go, let's go ahead and take a look. So if I scroll all the way down, now we can start to see that this is the layout which has just been added. Okay, so now you can delete the sections that you don't need by just clicking this icon here. And then we can leave the things that we need. And in order for this to work, of course, you have to go in and match the colors so that the page looks seamless. Okay, so let's move on to the next one. And uh, the next item we're going to talk about is the divider flip. Okay, so I'm going to come over here to my section settings, click on design, dividers. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add a divider to the top. So I'm going to click here on um, my divider styles and I'm going to choose this one. So let's say you want this divider to be facing the other way. Now what you need to do is to come over here to divide the flip and flip it that way. So, so by clicking this button here, you can see now that the divider is now facing the other way. Okay, so that's how the divider flip works. And also, we can use the vertical flip. Okay, so let's move on to the final one, which is number seven. So let's say you've designed your page and you're happy with how it looks and everything is in place. Now, if you didn't know, you can actually save this page to the library and then use elements of this page or even this same page on other designs as well. So to save this to the library, all you have to do is to come over here and click this icon here. And then you can give this layout a name. So I'm just going to call this layout two. If you want, you can add a category and then I'm going to click on save to library. Okay. So now our layout has been saved to the library. And if you want to see where it's saved, all you have to do now is to come to this plus button to load from library and then go to your saved layouts. So here we are. I have it right here, layout two. So this is where you can load it from. Today's tutorial is made possible by divicake.com. Check out the huge selection of Divi themes, layouts, and plugins. The link is in the description below. So that does it for today's video. Thank you very much for watching. And if you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and do so. And don't forget to click on the bell notification. By doing that, you'll be notified every time I release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and see you soon.